Hey yo, what is up, my best good Dorians? Hope you guys are all doing good. And if you're new, please subscribe and join the best good Dorians. My name is Pablo. Nice to meet you guys. So thank you guys for tuning into another video of mine. So um, let me give you a rundown of what happened. So I arrived to one of my other spots, and I realized I don't have the paddles with me because we're kayak fishing, and I don't have any paddles. So I had to go back home. I'm gonna hit up a different spot just because it's a bit closer and we get more time in the water. So I'm gonna be rocking. Um, the 13th uh, fishing uh, ladyfish, and I'm be rocking um, a top water, a heat on black and chartreuse um, top water. And we're gonna see if we can get on snook today. That's a big mission. We're gonna see if we can get on some big snook today. It's cold, yeah, and it's cold. So I don't know how the, the bite's gonna be. And also, um, maybe later on in the day, first we're gonna hit up um, some sea walls and some docks, and then after that, we're gonna work towards some mangrove lines and see if we can find some fish out there. And then we'll probably just wrap up the day there and we'll see how it goes, but wish me luck. I don't wanna do too much talking. Thank you guys for tuning into another video of mine and let's get to it, you. Okay, so check this out. Before we get started, look how beautiful the sunrise is. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, morning. Beautiful, beautiful right? Yeah. Like, look at that view. Water slicked out. Got a beautiful sunrise. Yeah. All right, but let's load up the kayak. All right, let's load up the kayak and we'll get to fishing. You. Alrighty, we got everything loaded up. Check it out. This is the setup we're running. We got that black with chartreuse top water. And then we got where is she at? Let me see. A good old 13 ladyfish right there. We got on the van stall. And then on the OG Osprey, we're gonna run the top water. And then we're gonna see if we can hopefully pull out some snook today. But yeah, let's get to it. I gotta start paddling. You. So we're gonna start skipping along right now. Okay. That wasn't a good skip. Let's try that again. Okay, that wasn't a good skip either. Big wake right off this wall. All right, my best Victorians. So let me give you a rundown on what's going on. So. We were trying some seawalls, some docks, a residential canal, all that good stuff. But we did not hook up to any fish. We got like two little hits and that was about it. So I ended up switching off the spook to a, a mini mullet. And I'm still throwing the, give me one second. I'm still throwing the 13 fishing uh, lady fish, just in case maybe we'll see some giants cruising or maybe a big jack or something. But we're gonna skip the mini mullet maybe up under these mangroves to see if maybe some of these snook are just lurking right behind them and maybe we can pull one out but i'm gonna paddle a bit more and then start fishing but i just want to give you guys a rundown on what's happening all right we're gonna hit up right here on this island see if maybe there's some snook right here maybe we got some good current flowing in there there might be Gotta keep casting. All right, my pesca joins. I think we're gonna switch over to one of the only three inches I got. So let me see which one I got. We're gonna throw this one. This mangrove line is pretty deep, so maybe these fish aren't gonna eat on top, but they might be eating down below. And I'm gonna see what this color of three inch. I think this is hell yeah butter Palm Beach Pearl. Actually, I, if I can keep on this jig head, I do have a pack of Hell Yeah Butter, so we can throw that around. But we're going to see if maybe they're going to eat down below, and I don't know what we can find. We can probably find some good snappers, or snook, or even maybe even a grouper. Alright, we got the 3 inch rigged up. It's not the heaviest jig head, but it should get the job done. I know there's like a little deep cut right along the, the mango line. So we're gonna see if maybe throw that three inch up in there. Maybe, maybe we can get something to eat it. 
Current is flowing though, guys. Current is flowing. Yep, I got stuck again. <laughs> Alright, this is just gonna be me and getting stuck. Maybe I shouldn't cast on this edge no more. And this edge looks good too, like look at this. And I just, <laughs> I just got into another one. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good, we got it out, got it out. Let's see, right, maybe one right there. Is that a fish right here? <gasps> oh my gosh, I got him. Yo, that's so sick. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Loosen up on that drag. I didn't, I didn't really think that was a fish. Oh my gosh. Nope, that is a fish. Oh, yo, that was so sick. Not a bad snook either. Not a bad snook either. Yo, that was so sick, guys. He was just chilling right there, too. Not a bad snook. Not a bad one. I'm just trying to see how I can. Oh, oh, oh. This is where he might come off. Oh. Not a oh. Ooh. oh, I did not like that. Okay. Not a bad one. Sight casted him and everything. On the three inch dude. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Guys, look at this. Yeah, a good one right there. Look at that. What is it? A snook. Ooh, nice. Right? They're so beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Alright, he just came off. Oh, Guys, look at that snook. I'm so frothing on that thing. Look at that. Alright guys, so I am frothing right there. Oh look at that pufferfish right here. You see him? Alright, okay, I'm getting distracted. But I am frothing on that. So I just questioned if that was a fish. I was just, I was like, I mean that looks like a fish. So I questioned it and I just casted and yeah, it was a good snook. And he was trying to pick me up in these mangroves. Oh my goodness. And he he, he raided me pretty good. Like luckily I'm throwing 50 pound leader, so he, you know, he was he wasn't gonna fight through that, but man, that was awesome, guys. Like, probably one of my favorite catches of the year. All right, so I'm gonna retie really quick and get back out there and see if maybe we can find some more just like that. I am so happy, guys, because we've been trying for a couple hours and we have had nothing. Like I said, on the mini mole, the top water, or the ladyfish, but it's three inch. Three inch, man, boom. Already one fish. That was awesome, guys. All right, I'm still shaking just on how awesome that played out. Like he was just right there in the current. I thought he was like one of these seaweeds that you just see like going right there with the current, and then boom, he grabbed it. Hope I'm hoping I'm hoping the GoPro caught when he ate it because it just happened so fast. Deep cut right out here. Almost got stuck in a mangrove again. The deep, deep, deep pocket right here. I'm wondering, will it hold some fish? Let it sink a bit. Be something on the entrance too.
dude, that was a good snook. I was, dude, I did not see him following it up until it was last minute. I already brought it out, like, that was a good snook. That was awesome, guys. The way he ate. I legit about to bring it out of the water. And I guess he was following it. I can't really see it because of the glare right there. It might be. Maybe a couple fish right here. Got him. That was so sick. Wait, is that a cuda? Yep, I was gonna say. Didn't look like a snook. Thought it was a snook that came for it. Alright, Mr. Stinky. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, we wanted a bath. Thank you. They mean to trick you. You can let go of the tail. My bad, little guy. Alright, I'm Pesha Dorians. If you guys have a weak stomach, don't watch this. But look at this, dude. So, dead barracuda probably just got eaten recently. Cause I want to show you guys. Look at this, guys. This is a barracuda. Chomped in half. I wonder what chomped it. Maybe another barracuda, probably. That's what I'm thinking.